Good morning and welcome to Betfair's Betting Bunker. Uh, this week we're speaking with Ian Hudson. Um, this guy knows what he's talking about and we're going to look through uh, basically the King George race, the big race on Boxing Day. And let's go over to Ian to hear his thoughts and opinions on the big race. Ian, what do you fancy in the King George? Hello, Eddie. Well, in my opinion, uh, we've got the right favourites in White Bites. Um, we've got two things that can happen with White Bites. He'll either fall or win the race by 20 lengths. Uh, this horse is a bit temperamental. This time last year, it won the Grade 1 Novices Chase at Pempton. Well, it was going to win the Grade 1 Novices Chase at Cheltenham, at Pempton. It was leading by about 20 lengths and fell at the final fence. That was, that was going to be the best novice performance of last season. Um, at the Cheltenham Festival, Mike Bite actually did win the Novices Gold Cup, which is the RSA Chase. But if you remember the race, the horse was leading over the last again by about 20 lengths and decided to go for a pint in the Guinness stand. It veered off to the left, Whisper, who we'll talk about later, overtook Mike Bite on the running. And amazingly, Mike Bite got up on the line to beat Whisper. So that, to me, was a tremendous piece of form, together with the run at Kempton, uh, over Christmas when the horse fell. This might bite, I think, is the best steeplechase in training in Britain and Ireland. He'll either fall or win. Okay, interesting stuff. So you're siding with the favourite. Uh, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> what about the money we've seen for Bristol de May? A few bookies have shortened up. Um, best price 7-2 to two at the moment, but there's been 4s and 5s available earlier in the week. Uh, do you think this money is justified? Um, there's, there's an interesting subplot to the King George and Bristol de May in that um, any horse that wins the Betfair Chase at Haydock, the King George and the Tottenham Gold Cup will get a million pound bonus. Bristol May, Bristol de May won the Betfair Chase uh, at Haydock by about a distance, beating some cue card. So they're going for this million pound bonus. Now, interestingly, after Black Lion won the Beach Chase at Aintree, uh, Nigel Twist and Davis, who's the trainer with Black Lion and Bristol Demay, was asked, would you consider running Black Lion in the Gold Cup? And his comment was, we've got the Gold Cup sorted. Which suggests to me that Twist and Davis thinks Bristol Demay could win the Gold Cup. Now, the thing about Bristol Demay is that over on soft ground at Haydock, this horse is a stone better. The conditions will not suit Bristol Demay on Boxing Day at Kempton. So I think that money uh, is unjustified. Okay, interesting stuff. That's that's what we like to hear on the Betfair betting bunker. And finally, Ian, we like to keep this short and sweet, but uh, I feel we've, we've got a good grasp on the race. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, noise in the media regarding Whisper, the Nicky Henderson trained horse. Can you give me some kind of uh, idea as to why Whisper could win or lose this race? Yeah, well, Whisper is the horse mentioned earlier that... Um that Mike Bite almost gave the RSA Chase at Cheltenham to. Uh, now, Whisper ran in the Ladbrokes Trophy, otherwise known as the Hennessy, at Newbury about three weeks ago. Carrying top weight, it got within less than the length of a horse called Total Recall, who was one of Willie Mullins' top pots. That, that Newbury run was a massive trial for the Gold Cup. Whether Whisper is suited to Kempton is another matter. I'd be more likely, I'd be more like, more. I'd be more keen on backing Whisper for the Gold Cup, but not for the King George. Okay, brilliant insight there into the King George. Um, we shall keep it short and sweet. That's a fantastic insight. And, well, from what you've said, I'm guessing then the, the selection is Mike Bite, um, which is best price six to four. Yeah, Mike Bite six to four wins or falls. Brilliant. All right, thank you for your time, Ian. Yeah, happy Christmas, everybody. Good stuff. Thank you.